friends. Today I've come across a very interesting reserve inhabitant, one of the incredibly toxic, brightly marked locusts. And unlike many other animals that occur in this area that are highly edible, that camouflage themselves to try and avoid detection from predators, this locust walks around announcing loudly the equivalent of shouting, I'm here, but if you think you're going to make a meal of me, think again. And it is using very well-known markings known as aposmatic or warning markings in nature. Reds and blacks and yellows that you'll get on bees and wasps, for example. We also use them on stop signs and other warning marks because they have such an impact on everybody who sees them. This locust is not trying to escape. It's letting me know. You can get closer if you want to. You will regret it though. Now birds that make the mistake of attacking this locust will regret it because they will get very sick. And any other locust that looks even remotely similar to this one is going to benefit from this advertising. So what will happen is through a process known as Batesian mimicry, animals that are palatable through convergent development or evolution gradually look like animals that are very unpalatable through a process of selection. So the birds that see ones that look similar, that are unpalatable or palatable, will leave them alone, both varieties. So even the ones that are palatable end up hiding in plain sight. However, this is one of the very unpalatable ones. This is not Batesian mimicry. An example of Batesian mimicry with butterflies, Lepidoptera, would be the Viceroy butterfly, which is palatable to birds. Batesian mimicking the Monarch butterfly, bright orange and black and white markings. Although the monarch butterfly has toxic milkweed stored within it, the viceroy does not. So aposmatic markings in action. However, there is another survival mechanism that this locust is using. Because I'm being such a persistent pest and following it, it's probably starting to think <laughs> that its aposmatic markings are not working. And it doesn't want to be one of the statistics letting birds and other predators know, leave me alone for next time they see one, they will remember they got sick. So there we go. Very quickly moving along. Beautiful markings. It's very rare to see these locusts in this area to give you an idea. Maybe once every few years I might come across one. Now, I won't follow it for too much longer. leave it in its habitat. I'm not touching it because of the toxins it has on it. And you can see those bright markings. Even now as it's moving away, it's letting me know, stop following me, you're about to make a big mistake. This locust is a few centimeters in length. Just to give you an idea. And we'll leave it so it can carry on its day unmolested. Remember, friends, if you see something that's warning you in nature, it's a good idea to not question whether it's Batesian mimicry or the real deal. Stay safe out there, friends.